I love mushrooms and my take mushrooms are right up there on my list of favorite dishes. And these were donated to me or gifted to me with my, you know, by my friend Bragg. I mean, who likes to forage in his backyard in the wooded area, mushrooms and herbs. And so I'm so thankful to him. And here we have it on steamed rice, steamed jasmine rice, the tender, moist, and we flavored it with, you know, soy sauce and lemon juice and a uh, couple of other things. So let's get started. Hi friends, I'm Gastro Guru and welcome to Gastro Guru Kitchen. <music> Gastro Guru here. Welcome back to my cooking channel, Gastro Guru on YouTube. For those of you who are new, uh, please go ahead and you know hit the subscribe button, and so that you can get you know all my recipes and cooking videos. Also, make sure to press the bell icon so you get notifications for new recipes. So today, friends, I'm going to be you know talking about and preparing uh, foraged mushrooms. So here. We have uh, maitake mushrooms. So these are Japanese mushrooms, maitake. They come either in a lighter color, almost white, or in this dark color. And my friend, uh, Prayag Amin, uh, who you know, likes to forage for mushrooms and herbs in his wooded backyard. He's got a large backyard in the suburbs. So he was kind enough to give these maitake mushrooms to me. So you can take a look at that. How they look and obviously these are you know straight from the woods so what we're going to do first is clean them thoroughly because there could be all kinds of you know dirt and gremlins and all kinds of stuff in it we're going to wash them thoroughly then we're going to chop them and then cook them and they taste fantastic so again let's get started all right friends so we're going to wash these maitake or head of the woods mushroom thoroughly and get all the dirt out so <laughs> I'm going to make sure that you know, they're totally clean before we slice them. You know, we're going to take the stem out. Some people cook the stem, but I prefer not to. It takes longer. But basically, we're going to wash these thoroughly and then, you know, chop them into slivers, all right? All right, friends. So, you know, we have thoroughly washed the mushrooms. And what we're going to do now is take the stem off. So these are those, again, the maitake mushrooms. And so you see that, I mean, and some people cook that too. So it's, you know, your personal taste, but you know, I don't like to cook them. You can also use them, you know, to prepare a broth. So now what we're gonna do is like, we can like literally either, you know, plug them individually like that, okay. These are like, just like the broccoli florets. So you can just pluck them and separate them. You see how it's done? And then some of these stems are pretty tender too. So I'm gonna continue doing that, you know, plucking them, removing, you know, the excess stem, and then we're gonna be cooking them, all right? I just wanted to give you an idea. All right, friends, so we're gonna be cooking our maitake mushrooms, or as they call it, you know, dancing mushrooms and basically what I did I washed them thoroughly and then you know I just plucked them like you know we do with broccoli florets so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some oil to this really hot pan okay I'm going to add about three tablespoons and I'm using olive oil you can use any you know vegetable oil cooking oil, so this is my preference, All right? So to that, what we're gonna be adding is three cloves of chopped garlic, All right? And again, you wanna quickly start with the garlic. You don't wanna burn it. And it's already eaten up. It's getting a bit brown, as you can see. At this point, what we're gonna do is, in the mushrooms. Now, 
you know, these mushrooms, the maitake mushrooms, did have so much flavor by itself. You don't want to add too much else in it, you know, and mask the flavor. So basically, you added these, and uh, this is about, I want to say, about four cups, or if you want to quantify, maybe four and a half. And again, I didn't buy them. My friend Prague, I mean, you know, he likes the boys. He's back here and he's the one who gifted these to me. So I'm again very thankful to him. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some other flavors to this, just you know, minimal flavors, and we're gonna cook this for six to eight minutes so that A, the deck cook thoroughly, and B, all the, you know, the moisture is gone, all right? So, the next thing I'm going to add is some salt, just to give it some flavor, not too much. I'm going to give that a quick toss. Already, you know, they're smelling awesome. Oh my goodness. And what we're going to do is that once these are done, we're going to enjoy them or have them with steamed rice. You can have them by itself too, you know, but just to, you know, get some additional flavor, we're going to, you know, have the bland rice and then we're going to have these maitake mushrooms. Next thing we're going to add to this is one teaspoon of red chili powder. You know, because I like mine to have some heat. Uh, also, we're going to add in some crushed black pepper. Now, again, all these things are optional. It all depends on your personal taste. How you like it. Uh, you make the rules. Main thing is that the moisture has to evaporate and that they have to get cooked thoroughly. So now, that's looking awesome. Now, to give it a little bit of acidity, you know, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Now, some people, some chefs, they add like orange juice or blood orange juice. I don't like to do that because that kind of masks the flavor of the mushrooms. I mean, these mushrooms it's by itself are so flavorful. And so I would never want to mask it too much, you know, the flavors, the natural flavors of the maitake mushrooms. All right. Next thing we're going to add is just a dash of soy sauce, just to give it a little bit of the umami. Now, remember, we already added salt. So we just going to add just a touch, you know, barely a few drops of, of the soy sauce. So, we're going to keep on cooking about, like I said, too. Alright friends, so our maitake mushrooms are ready. And now, you know, they look nice and soft, but at the same time, all the moisture is evaporated. And I had a taste, and it tastes fantastic. So now, what we're going to do is, we're going to plate them, alright? Alright friends, so, here I have some steamed jasmine rice in this container or I want to call it a love boat because it looks it does look like a like a canoe so I'm gonna to top the steamed rice with our my tiny mushrooms all right so folks there you have it a delicious my tiny mushrooms or a bed of jasmine rice, steamed jasmine rice. And you have flavored them with salt and red chili powder, a little bit of the soy sauce, lemon juice. And we wash them thoroughly and we flavor them, get rid of the moisture. They look fantastic. So do check this recipe out on my YouTube channel, Gastro Guru. And do like, share and subscribe. There's some awesome recipes on it. Also, do not forget to 
press the bell icon so that you get new recipes in your mailbox, all right? So again, check out Gastro Guru on YouTube. Thank you very much and bon appetit.